Hey everybody, this is Thomas Wood with MicroQuant. It is December 23rd, day before Christmas Eve, 2013. Uh, what I want to look at tonight, or today, is bonds and what happened in bonds during the night session. You can see here you had about a five point move in bonds. And it's actually, um, in about thir 10 seconds, this entire move took place all the way up and all the way back down. And it covers the entire range of the past three months, basically. Now, I've had a few people ask me, okay, how could this happen? How did, did that happen? Well, if you look at it, there really wasn't that many, relatively speaking, contracts traded in bonds. Okay, you had about 10,000. During that 30-minute period, you had 10,571 up, 6,291 down. And uh, what the reason it moved that far with such a few number of contracts traded is because you're going into a holiday during the night session when there's no volume there, so your spread increases, the number of trades that are there to be filled decrease. So when you place a big order at market and it starts just looking for uh, people that'll sell it to you and a market maker or a hedge fund goes out there and puts it in order for five, 6,000 contracts, they can move a market huge amounts when there's no volume. That's why you need to be very careful if you're trading before holidays like this during the night session or have a trade in overnight because you probably would have had a point of slippage in that if you had your stop loss there which would not have been good at all uh, so just make sure you pay attention to that make sure you watch for that sort of thing to happen make sure you're being very careful if you're trying to leave trades on overnight during the holidays or right before a holiday that's all i have for today i'm gonna go ahead and get it right into the premium video where we're going to discuss what to expect in the gold market over christmas and until next time Happy trading.